Good afternoon everyone, thank you very much for tuning in to my latest video. Um, so this is just a short video, um, it's just another communication that I've gotten from my uh, case manager that's in, that's still working within the DWP that I'd mentioned on the last video, where it was going to uh, provide me with information each time this changes. Um, this communication came through last night, um, or was it the night before, I can't remember, uh, to say that obviously it's, that it's actually changed the game. Um, I should have waited, but the last message I'd got, and I thought, it's, I've had it for like five days now, and it's, it's probably time it should be out there, so that's why I've done it. And then it's Sod's Law, this comes through a couple of days after that, but it's okay. Um, and also, I mean, I, I did wonder if I would have had the content for it, whether just to make a short video, but then I came across um, a news report uh, that the Chancellor is actually looking to cut the public sector. Now, as, as you've seen in these videos, the public sector, there's no, the, the, you can't cut the public sector. Um, there's, no, there's nothing left to cut, as, 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 we've, as we've discussed here. And, and, and anyone that needs any, any evidence that's willing to refute that, they can just go to the comments on the first two or three videos and they'll see that, that indeed there's many people that are suffering from these issues. And now the Chancellor of the Exchequer is sending out requests to cut public cuts, for, to, 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 to cut public funding further to then fund tax cuts. Now I know there'll be people out there that are working and the ones that say, ah, well, they get enough benefits. Um, I'm working hard, I deserve something now. And they, they, I mean, they do, everyone deserves something. But if you're in a sort of bad place and you're caught on benefits, you, you deserve help. And that's the point here. And, but too many people, well, mind you, there's a lot of people now, as we've discussed, that's, that's on Universal Credit that's, that, that, that's working. But there is still people out there that don't need to sign up to it. And they, they, they'll obviously be the ones that advocate for public cuts uh, or cuts to the public sector to, to obviously fund these tax cuts. And like I say, it's, it's just not possible. I mean, to cut this further... For what I've seen last year, it was bad enough, and I've already discussed in the first interview that I'd, that I'd done, it'll have gotten worse, um, definitely. And now they're looking to make it even worse by further cutting the public sector. Now this, the, 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 the message that I've gotten from the case manager, um, it's, it's, it actually leads into this as well. That's why I was glad when I'd stumbled upon this, uh, this article. Now, Jeremy Hunt, Apparently, what he what he said was was that he he wants to do this to obviously fund tax cuts, but it has to go to the is it the 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 the, the, the office of budget responsibility. Now I didn't know this had exist, never heard of this before until I read it in this article. But apparently, they have to give him approval. So that's I mean that's no different to having a supervisor. Now people that think. This man's in control. That proves otherwise because what what they're basically saying is that you've not got the competence to draw up these the, the, the these these figures. And I know people will say, oh yeah, but one man's word shouldn't have shouldn't shouldn't and it's right, one man's word shouldn't tick something off or sign something off. And yes, in a in a decent country we would have um overseers that could maybe say, Yes, that's okay, or no, that's not. Um but the, the, these are the people that's that's cut the budget that's brung us this far um, and pushed poor people into further impoverished situations. So they, they've obviously approved previous budgets that's, that, that's allowed this to happen. So who's to say they won't approve this also? And it, it actually had the cheek as well to use um, countries like U, the USA and Canada to say, well, they're actually lighter than in taxes. I mean, the last I checked, America was, or the US anyway, is one of the most taxed countries in the world. It's not even a country anyway, it's a series of countries. I'll go into that in another video. But he's trying to use this as a good example in Canada as well. I mean, two places that, if you gave me the choice, I'd be nowhere near them. I mean, I would, I'm quite happy where I am, as bad as it is here. It looks worse there. It really does it in places. For free speech being wiped out and... Mandatory, mandatory measures being enforced and climate change bullshit and all the rest of it. So him using those those economies as an example is really quite frightening. 
But what he was meaning was that they're, 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 they've got lower cut tax cuts for businesses, which, I mean, I would, need to, I would check that, actually, because I'd believe a word he says. Um, if you're trying to use those, those economies and those countries as examples to then push for tax cuts when we're already in this state, when people are already choosing between eat or heat, um, I mean, I, I see people every day that are missing meals. I know they're missing meals. Now, they, they, they could be fasting. Of course they could. But they're missing meals. Now, whether they're doing that from a positive mindset or a negative mindset, only themselves know. But I know for a fact there's a lot of people out there that are, that are missing meals to feed their kids, and any decent person would do that. Um, any person would do that, really. Like, I mean, you're not going to sit and eat over your kids. But while all that's going on, and that's just one example, they're, they're, they're then sending out the, the, the beacons to see if we're going to accept further cuts through this. But they're already cutting it, as again we've discussed, with claim reviews. Um, the, the, it's unauthorised sanctions. And when you consider that the country's skin, the councils are skin, that's why they've been bought over, and now they want to cut further, or put further cuts to public money. And, and, and when you look at what's already happening, where's that going to take us? And that, that cannot happen. I don't care if you're working and making 100 grand a year. That can't happen. Because that, that will, that'll drop, that'll drop a bomb on the whole thing. I mean, people are, I know people are, a lot of people are not getting by, but there's, people are making it work. But any further cuts to that, and I'm sorry, that, that goes out the window. But that's, that's what they're doing. And, 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 and if any, I, I mean, Labour, 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 people think that, and, and they've said it in the comment sections, it's Tories. Well, no, it's, it's the Tories that are in power, but it's not them. Because they're all the problem, they're both the problem. And, it's, and it is right, I mean, you get a little bit more from Labour, and then... When the Tories come back and they take it back, that seems to be the way it works. But it'll be very different this time if Labour get in. Um, you will see the ideological left. I mean, they, they will rise even more if they get into power. And they're already running around like spoiled children, demanding that everyone believe what they believe and that if you disagree with them, that you're, a, you're, you're committing hate crime. That's where we're at. That's spoiled children. You take a child and you, get, you, you, you don't discipline them and you let them say whatever they want to anybody, including adults. See what kind of person you end up with. That's the left. That's, the, that's today's left. That's what they are, spoiled kids. And some of the adults I see that, 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 that promote it, that are, I mean, how they even get on these panels and news, news uh, outlets is beyond my thinking like, but they do. And to say that, and there was a saying in a film I'd seen in the 90s, there was, um, the, the, the lights are on, but no one's home. That's, you can apply that to all of these activists, the vast majority of them anyway, um, the ideological ones. But Sir Keir Starmer, he, 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 that'll go through the roof with him, like, I mean, seriously. Look at some of his policies. He, they, apparently they want to completely do away with the, 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 the wonder plan. And they, they, they want to let everybody in. Because it's an agenda. And, and, and again, man, I mean, I'll say it one more time. If you say, well, I'll need to vote for them, no, because we don't want the Tories in, then you're lending credibility to this. I don't care how you justify it to yourself. You are lending credibility to a society that allows this type of thing to happen. And you can sit there and say that, well, the other person will get in, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter which one of them get in, because they're all controlled by the same force. And it's time we learn that and realise that. And thankfully, so many people are realising it. It's why they don't vote, because there's no point. And then you, you bring it to this latest message that I've gotten from uh, the case manager that's kind, been kind enough to provide me this information. And, and, and they've let me know that there's been a recruitment drive in the Leicestershire area for universal credit review agents. Now, if you remember rightly, the review agents, is, is, is when a claim's being reviewed, what they can do is it's an unofficial sanction. They can just slap the sanction on there, or the, the, the review. We believe in the illegit illegitimacy of your claim. We need to review it. And that, that could take four weeks. It could take six weeks. 
but yet they're bringing in these people who have the, who the vast majority are apparently immigrants. Um, they've no, they've probably can't even speak the language half them. They've no knowledge of how universal credit works. They're setting agent to do's, which is to do's on people's claims that need to be completed or it prohibits things like payments, housing, etc. They're doing that without knowing what they're doing. They're, 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 they're not properly reviewing the claims. Um, and because of this, this has then increased this case manager's work casework. Um, it's increased even more since the last communication that we've had. So not only is their casework sitting at two and a half thousand, they're now having to deal with the incompetent, the incompetence of these universal credit review agents that are being recruited from God knows where and not given any training to further throw spanners in the works. Now, if this happens often enough, Jeremy Hunt will not need to worry about cutting the public sector because it's already being cut with things like this. And when you check people's statements, and I've seen this in my mum's statement on Sunday, so one month, I, th I can't remember the exact figures, I think it was, it was, it was, it was like £30.45 two times. And then it would be, though that would be the amount, and the next statement would show 60, 60 pounds and 90 pence. Now, when you look at that, yes, the two deductions are different, but they equate to the same number, which means it's calculated. So, and this, this, this is, again, this is why I've done it, because this is what they're doing. This is how they're stealing from people. And now they, not only are they doing this with the, with the false claim reviews and the false sanctions and the wheelie bin selfies and the nonsense and the lies and the incompetence, but now they want to cut it further on top of that. And I'll ask again, where the hell is this money going to? I want, I, I want to know where this is going to. I don't know about you. I want to know where this money's going to. And thankfully, I've been contacted by people this week, and this is what I've been quite busy this week, um, talking to people that want to take action. And Conan, if you're watching this, I'm very sorry, I'll be in touch, you're next on the list, I've had a lot of calls this week, um, that want to take action. Because I said, there's no point in just making a video and changing my life. We need to change everybody's lives. Uh, and we obviously do that with information. We get people to change the information that they're looking at. We get them to believe in themselves. We tell them, no, you're not what society's labelled you. You're actually the opposite to that. But they needed to label you that way to keep you in the hole so that you can draw you. But guess what? You can break out of that and then that's it. This, this, that's action. But there's people that want to take that a little bit further. They want to take, they want to go and start reforms and start movements and and send, I mean, I'm, I'm going to, I am going to draw up a, 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 a pro, I think a letter would probably be better. It's, it's, it's more official than an email. Um, just to let them know that I've started this channel. I mean, people say to me, oh, you better watch yourself and stay safe. I've got nothing to worry about. I'm using my free speech. I've not breached any contracts. Uh, I'm not impeding myself in any way. I've not mentioned any names. All I'm doing is using my free speech from what I've seen in a job I was doing. That's it. Now, because not that many people do that nowadays, it seems like a very noble thing to do. Um, and it's not an easy thing to do, but it has to be done. And the more people that do it, the better we'll get on. But like I say, it's not just about making a video. We need to take action. Um, and as, as I said, I've spoke to many people. I spoke to a lovely lady today who I, who I, who I think my path's aligned with, with hers. Um, she has been, let's just say she's been abused and used and lied to by the DWP. In fact, she's been stolen from. I'm quite confident in saying that. And I'm going to be working with her moving forward as well. And, and I think it'll be, it'll, it's a blossoming friendship. Um, we're definitely on an aligned path, there's no doubt about it. And I'll certainly be having more conversations with her as we move forward. Um, but this, this video was just to let you know that more of these claim reviews aren't being dealt with because of this recruitment drive that's been done in Leicestershire. And they'll still do it everywhere else. So the, 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 the more incompetent people they can get, the better it is for their agenda. And that's what this is. It's deliberate incompetence, as you've seen at the Home Office, the video I done last week or the week before. That's, that is incompetence. There's nothing else for that. That is deliberate sabotage to promote an agenda to fulfill an agenda. 
And as I said in that video, these people that are making these decisions, I want them on camera just to explain it. I want, you know, I would, I would love to sit on a panel with them and look them in the eye and ask them, what is it that you think you're doing? Because they, 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 see, see if I could do that, it would reveal them to be what they are, liars, because they wouldn't know where to look. That's why, they, that's why you see these people on panels, because they're fucking cowards. I'll tell you what, pff, if, they, if I ever meet one of them, like, I, I, I mean, I'll challenge any of them to a debate, no problem at all, and I'll, t I'll happily do it on camera. Anybody, no problem at all. That, that, I mean, there is people in the comments saying that, oh, he's lying, you know, that he's, he's never worked there, but got no reason to lie. Get not, I, I, I wish I was lying, I wish this wasn't true, but it is. And we're in it, but the good news is we're in it together. And because of that, once we start, and we are working together now, it's coming together, it's definitely things are moving. They're moving a lot quicker, there's no doubt about it. Absolutely, even if I started doing it, things are moving. Um, there's farmers all over the world now that are protesting because there's an Irish farmer that had said today, he says, um, they want to do, they, 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 they are sanctioning farmers. They're putting restrictions on farmers which will compromise world food production. Everyone needs food. We all need food, it's, as I discussed in that video, food is energy. It's the most common form of energy that we get. And they want to sanction that and restrict that. Not because of their shortages, but because they wish to control. And people say to me, it's getting worse. It would appear so. But that's because the walls are closing in. And when the walls close in on psychopaths, it would appear that it gets worse. But as it gets worse, they, they just keep revealing themselves and it's unraveling and it'll unravel to a point where we will change this world, I can promise you that, I can feel it, I know it's going to happen, it is going to happen because we're coming together and the more we do that, the quicker we get out of this. I'd like to thank you for watching this video um, and I'll see you on the next one, I've got a couple of interviews to do, um, I'll post links etc. But again, thank you for tuning in and look after yourselves.